Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have a new shaft just landed with us here. Uh, a new addition to our shaft wall, Matty Boy. Very nice. Very fancy. Mm -hmm. The Graphite Design HD Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive. The Hyperdrive. Put your game in Hyperdrive. We, we kind of have tested Graphite Design shafts in the past. Obviously DI yep. does well for us, IZ. Both those shafts get a lot of a lot of sort of presence on, on the tour. You know, it, Graphite Design launch tend to launch one shaft every year. Okay. Not they don't flood the market with their with their products. Their products tend to move into their lineup and stay there. I mean, look at a shaft like DI. How long has DI I been around? You know, it's, it's coming up a decade. And so they're really just making the whole lineup more robust. They've got what 15 plus shafts now. Yeah. And they're also it's sort of like a like a scale of different parts of the shaft, different stiffnesses, different feels. Yeah. I mean, you could pretty much fit anyone within their line. They have so many shafts. Absolutely, 100%. That's exactly right. And I guess they may revisit a bend profile based on materials that become available. Yep. Uh, that's one thing that when you're releasing a new shaft every year, there maybe is a, a new material, a new sort of, you know, sort of carbon uh, composite that gets made available to them. Yeah. Uh, and graphite design are renowned for only using the best stuff. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's probably one of the highest end shaft companies, yeah. if not, you know, up there? It is for sure. Yeah. It really, really is. Um, flashy graphics are what they're known for as well. And the one thing when you look at this, you kind of can't help but kind of think of that, this, <laughs> right? I mean, they said it's almost like they were made to go together. I mean, the white and the blues are extremely close in color. Where, where that transitions there, AD, the accuracy and distance, goes into the, the kind of blue, the, the Pantone, I mean, they must be siblings. I'd imagine they're, they're on the same little paint chip. You go to Home Depot and they're sort of exactly. on that same color piece. Yeah. The shafts that you guys might be familiar with to think, you know, if you've done well with a shaft in the past. So of the graphite design range, you want to think along the TP and IZ mm. uh, line. So yeah. looking at the, you know, the, the profile of this guy, um, you know, a little bit, firmer than some graphite design shafts in the handle. Okay. You've got a kind of firm handle, firm midsection, firm plus tip section. Right. So, you know, a little bit a little bit firmer than the likes of an IZ, which was firm, mid, firm. Gotcha. It will, it will be designed to kind of flight it down, be a little bit more stable than that. Comes in a variety of uh, weights and flexes, 16 different weights and flexes. That's crazy. It's a lot. It's a it lot, a yeah. Lot. Yeah. Good options. So I mean. really, really good options. So we kind of felt that this one would be probably on the soft end for you. So right. we did tip it an extra half inch. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so thinking just to try and, you know, tighten up, you know, it's quite amazing when you when you tip a shaft extra. And I was listening to some, uh, some a podcast actually over the weekend talking about the Ventus Red um, okay. profile and how Ventus Red can actually become really quite quite stiff. Really? When you tip it, you know, up to two inches, inch and a half, two inches, because that shaft's actually pretty stout in the, in the kind of back end of it. Oh. If you take away a, a decent chunk of the tip section, you, you only leave that firm, you leave more of that firmer section. Good point. You really can change the bend profile and influence the, the feel of that shaft depending on when you, now mm -hmm. half inch maybe won't make a difference, but two will make a two bunch. Two makes a big difference. They, uh, you know, and I think of Cameron Champ with that TZ6. Right. Uh, that's another shaft that really changes in profile. It's very low in torque, but when you remove quite a lot of the soft section of the that shaft, which is guys, as I always say, the softest section is the narrowest section. And as the shaft tapers and gets wider, it gets a lot stiffer. So regardless of whether a shaft is designated having a softer butt section and a firmer tip, mm. those are relative to other measurements of a tip section. Just as you were saying that I was thinking, this shaft in particular seems to me like the feel of it, the smooth feel of it, mm. kind of easy to hit or easy to swing would be a main feature tipping it you can kind of cheat that a little bit yeah yeah you can definitely stiffen up quite a bit and you know um graphite design do do a bit of that in their own in their own sort of designation as well so within this shaft you do have you have a 60 gram x okay. which is actually a 68 gram so something right. for for guys always remember that when you're in the uh, higher flex categories a shaft is probably more like the next weight up, right? So oh, yeah. a 60, a, a six 
R is probably about 62, 63 grams, but a 6X is probably closer to 70 grams. Oh, okay. So it's one of the ways they stiffen it up is just by adding more material. So you'd expect five to eight grams yeah, between flex. Yeah, of an increase between like regular and X flex. Yeah. So this is a 6X, so yep. it's 60, 68. Eight. Yeah, right. yeah, on that one. So then they do a TX as well for the, for the you know, obviously the tour guys who, who are looking for something, you know, a little bit stiffer. Right. Um, not overly um, soft and or not overly low in torque. This one, 3.1 degrees 3 .1. of torque. So it should feel quite good to get that signature graphite design, smoothness. And I won't kind of call it soft because it's, it's not soft. It's smooth. Smooth right? and stable. Yeah. I think that's what most people associate with like a yeah. really good premium shaft is that you get those two things. Tell you what, that combo looks like it was, uh, look at that sonar grip with the blue cap <laughs> and that. Uh, <laughs> this matches that and this, yeah, nice. this is, this could be sold in quantity, I think. <laughs> Pre-sold, right. Love it. Um, let's hit a few, Matty sure. boy. That's nice. That's nice. That is really nice. Jeez. I was just thinking as you describe like that tipping and all the different sections, who do you think graphite design was targeting with that? Like what type of player kind of swing dynamics do you Load think? Load profile? Yeah. Um, I think a fairly smooth loader. I mean, this is probably sitting really in, in a wide section of the market. So this is probably one that a lot of people should pay attention to. Is it like a Matori in that sense? Yeah. Where a lot of people yeah, can play it? Definitely. And, and this isn't a slight to, to the Matori, but you know, the materials used in this are probably kind of a grade up from that, yeah. uh, which is why the price point is, is generally a little bit higher. Yep. Um, but I think it has the versatility of something like a, an F1 or an F3. That's great. Jeez. <laughs> it's crazy. Always a good one when you say geez. <laughs> there is a little, there is a little side romance with this driver. There really <laughs> There's something. <laughs> Oh, I love but it. I do like. Oh, it's kind of part of like, and I know. I know that, so it's kind of part of my fun when I always put it yeah. on there. It's just like, I don't fault you it. for it because it couldn't. I mean, it couldn't have been more appropriate. Yeah, there's just yeah. something about the way it, it feels and sounds when you really catch one. I mean, there's honestly, a satisfaction rate. Look at that. Look at that. That never happens. No. Four shots looks like one. Yes. In terms of the launch, how it apexes and, and where it comes down, it's only just when different variants uh, amounts of spin. Yes. One, you know, the higher spin, it's dropping a little bit steeper. Ball speeds, yeah, it's ball high, speeds, right? it's good. One seventy one point five, definitely on oh. the higher end, and it's it's there every time. Standard deviation on it, it's not it's not moving at all. It's really good. It's really good. Love that. So you've caught that one a little high. Look how stable that high flight and toe. is. Yeah, dude, that was like a a bad strike. Bad one that looks like a real good one. Jeez. No wonder you like this driver. It's just good. almost, yeah, almost <laughs> let that twist face work. I know, seriously. I mean, take it all day. That was just a little open. It's not far though. It's actually really good as well. Yeah, it's the shade open good result. A couple different strikes too. Like even the toe one was fast. Mm. How much would a high-end shaft like this help you on ball speed retention. Is that even on the planet? Oh yeah, absolutely. And in what, how does that work? Is it just the, the stability of the material keeps yeah. the head from Definitely. jostling? Yeah, yeah. I tend to find you know, shafts that are too soft for people, materials that are in the lower grade, there's, there's leakage in there. Okay. The, 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 the strike point becomes a little bit more erratic. The uh, ball speed retention isn't quite as good. Off. Definitely. I don't know that I've ever seen that. Yeah, yeah, within half a mile an hour. Incredibly tight, isn't it? Yeah. Incredibly tight. Okay, what well, sound is off with one more? It is. It's just a really nice looking flight. Not high, not low. Just so. I absolutely love that. Look at this. Let's, let's zoom in on that for a second <laughs> and admire. Yeah, That's pretty interesting, give, given that it is maybe not the one you would pick for me based on the profile, but with the tipping adjustment, yeah. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't at least be something I could test out to play. 
I mean, truthfully, guys, that's that's the benefit any of you will get if you work with a club fitter long enough that they actually get to really understand what you need. Yes. So, you know, we could have tipped this the standard amount and, and obviously just went, OK, that's, that is what it is. But we knew we probably weren't going to do the product justice if we'd done that. So we tipped it for you specifically, knowing that you're the tester. And the net <laughs> result of that has been has been a phenomenal test. One thing I love, which is really good here, is uh, is looking at the dynamic lie angle and how consistently that. If you if you oh. deliver the face, yeah, um, that consistently well. So if you're managing the face, um, sort of in in sort of both dimensions effectively. Right. So you know how it rotates and how it tilts that way in two different axes. You are going to uh, you're going to really get some stable shots. It's, why the ball flight looks like that okay because we have we have a significant amount of stability going on right now that's really quite interesting yeah i mean it makes a, it makes a ton of sense the way you describe that the, the fact that the face is relatively yeah. the same closure axis and uh, lie axis i just kept seeing that same number pop up on dynamic lie angle i was like that's, that's a real pattern and something that you know with all that data that shows up for me I, I try and see the same things as often as i can and when i do we know we're onto something so this would actually be quite a good fit not yeah, what i expected great fit for you i thought we'd test it and be like okay i get who it's yeah. for maybe not me but with the right amount of tipping it why not this is definitely a, a more appropriate fit than, than probably both of us thought yeah. um at the start fair yeah, yeah. All right, uh, guys, hopefully uh, some of the, you know, graphite design fans out there or people maybe who haven't tried graphite design can, um, you know, get a little bit of something from this. Uh, obviously, Matt's a lot quicker than most of you, but, you know, going into maybe the standard tipping instructions and maybe tipping a half inch rather than we've tipped this a full inch. And the reason we do that is because, you know, shafts nowadays with these, with these sort of sleeves, the, the insertion depth on these sleeves is shallower than ever before. So when we used to insert shafts into the, the full bore of a, of a hosel, okay. it used to house more of the shaft, therefore more of the shaft was fixed, so it couldn't bend. So when, when we went to these loft sleeves, we all of a sudden had to start tipping shafts more to allow for, for what that is. The other part is as well, head weights have went up. Um, okay. so, so you're counteracting both those things yeah. to make the shaft play the way it probably yep. was intended. Yeah, which kind of leads on to what we always say is it's not just about the fit, mm. it's also about how the build is then carried out afterwards. You can't just rely on the fit to, to execute the right, the right kind of driver for you. You're going to have to make sure it's built properly as well. Yeah, I would tell you whatever relative, this is obviously the fitting adapter, but yep. with the proper tailor-made adapter, we want it to play the way that you had it in that two inches. Exactly the same. And then when I go to the course, it's going to feel just like that. Definitely. That's, yeah. that's the key. Managing the CPM and making sure you know exactly what it is will allow the builder then to do their job. Love it. Well, this is yeah. fun. Excellent. Love that. Okay, guys. A nice little fun one for us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. More testing coming up soon. And we'll see you again soon.